So GEMP is Graduate Entry Medicine Program. So um, who gains admission to the game class? So SHS. You need your SHS WASI and the master science. If you can't, if you can't prove that your finances are good enough, it will go against you. And a game student could feel as much as a regular student would. Hundred thousand cities for the for the four. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel again. I hope you are doing well. So today I'm bringing you something on um, GIMP. We'll get to know what GIMP fully means. But I have with me here a gentleman from the GIMP class from UDA School of Medicine. So it's a new program. It just started um, last year. Yes, so they, he's from the first batch and they have a second batch right now. So we are talking about everything related to GIMP, whatever it comes with. So... I'll leave him to introduce himself to us, wherever he is, then we move from there. You're welcome. Thank you, Aida, and happy to, to be here with you. Okay. My name is Patrick Payne. I am the class president for the GEMP class, first batch. Okay. So GEMP is Graduate Entry Medicine Program. Um, you know, we are all used to the regular mainstream medical education that uh, takes place about six years. but and that's for usually uh, out of SHS graduates. But they came the need to give the chance to people who, are, who already have a first degree in science or health related uh, programs. But instead of they going for six years, the educators in their own wisdom structured a four year program in some circumstances, four and a half, where they do one year or one and a half year of preclinical training, then an additional three one three years, making it four to four and a half years of medical training. So in UTS, before last year, you would find some um, graduates enrolled in the regular six-year program. They, they, in their own mind, would not have opted for that because, but there was no game. So they chose to go for the regular six years. However, because they are uh, mature students, the, stud the school took them in as mature students, or let's say fee paying, it was still six years for them. Uh, so in UDS, regular uh, non-fee paying is six years. Fee paying is also six years, but the fee paying was reserved for those who already had a first degree. Because at the time, there was no gap in UDS yet. Then the demand came, or let's let's say then the demand led to the school getting accreditation, and then the game program started. So you mean you opted like you demanded that they do it? No, the demand is in Ghana because okay. people who have the basic sciences, a first degree like human hum, human biology, biology, biological sciences, biochemistry, PhD, nursing, pharmacy, most of these people want to enter medicine. However until the coming of game they had no option but to enter the regular six years however the demand was still there the call was there so most schools or most medical schools were now giving the opportunity to these people by creating the game program so in uds uds from now on will no more admit a parallel class they will now admit regular and then game okay, cool. so do you think the game is a better alternative the answer is one entire, an entirely yes answer. Yes and no. And the factors are on both sides. For someone who is thinking of time, who is already a PE or has done a first degree in nursing, biochemistry, and, and wants to do medicine, they really will not be two and twos to go through another six years. So this one saves them some one and a half to two years for them to finish medicine quite earlier. So the, so the short time factor becomes a plus. Apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, everything else is a disadvantage wow. for being a game student. Yeah. Disadvantage in the amount of money you are going to pay, which we'll talk about here. Disadvantage in the compression of the content you are going to do here. Disadvantage in, in so many things. And also the fact that you are the first class, I'm sure it's a trial and error. Exactly. Something. We are the first batch, yeah. so things are very much yeah. experimental. Yeah. The school is still trying to learn from uh, you know the process and all that so 
uh, we are going through challenges but if you ask anybody in the class it's a it's a big catch against admission to the game class is it specifically for only those with um, an undergrad or is still open to those from SHS? Someone who come from SHS and will still want to go through the four years instead of the six years. Is it open to that or just So the eligibility is first of all in the name of the program, graduate entry. Okay. So we want the, the non-graduates to pack themselves <laughs> allow those who've gone through first degree already to get this. And in fact, if you, are, if you don't have a first degree and you apply, you are not eligible, so your admission will be rejected in the first place. We are talking about people who have graduated in the science-related courses, like I think we've mentioned some already, human yeah. biology, biochemistry. Must it be a degree? Yes, it must be a first degree. It must be a good first degree. Um, anything HND or around diploma, advanced diploma are not, are not going to make you eligible. And it has to be in a science-related or a health-related um, field. Usually, the school will list the specific courses for which you are eligible. And they will mention that anything not listed in here, don't apply. You must have done general science. In institution? Yes. You must. You must have done general but science. But there are some people that do not do general science, but they are able to do maybe nursing. Yes. They so so they are eligible for the nursing they did, uh -huh. but they are not eligible for the medicine they want to do now. So they can't do medicine. No, they so when you're applying, you need your SHS. You need your SHS, SHS WASI and it must and be then, science. Okay. And, and then for then the science, it must be physics, chemistry, biology. And so is there a grade you have to have there or no, that one is no so for this for, for your WASI, there is no cutoff. It has to be a good one. Okay. So I think the I'm not too sure, but I think the panel will use their discretion. Uh, with your WASI, looking at how your performance is. The, the major qualifier is your performance in the first degree. For that one, it, for that one, there's a cutoff. But, 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 but for the WASI, it must just be look, good looking and it must have a pass in all of it. So it let a good pass. General science. It must be general science. Um, how do you apply? So check the school websites and get to know when applications will be open because it varies from year to year. Usually when they want to change the calendar, they are just ap application dates. You apply through the admission portal, submit all the documents they require of you. These documents we've mentioned, your secondary school certificates, your first degree certificates, your first degree transcripts, your NSS certificates. So again, let's mention to the viewers, you must have done national service. Then you must have also uh, have a good financial strength. So if you are paying for the fees yourself, a bank statement showing that you are financially competent. And if you are not paying it yourself? Whoever is sponsoring you must bring in evidence that you can pay your school fees, either by a bank statement or an attestation that I am going to pay this person's school fees. If you are employed and an employer will give you steady leave, they must give you evidence that they will give you steady leave. It is, it is important to stress that the school wants to be sure the applicant will have no problems paying their fees. So if you can't if you can't prove that your finances are good enough, it will go against you. It will really go against you because they stress on it very much in the application process. Mm -hmm. Once you have all these documents and you submit them and you apply, you wait to, to be screened and shortlisted for an access course. Okay. So those who get shortlisted enroll in a four-week intensive access course. Intensive is emphasized there because a lot of the things you do in this four months form four part four sorry four, four weeks okay. form part of the two years which you've been which you've been exempted from the medical training medical training is six years yeah. and you are doing it for four, four years, years. So, so that two years a lot of the things you are supposed to be doing do there you are doing it in the access weeks. course okay. and it's very intensive so if anybody wants to apply for GEMP this period where they are waiting to apply, they should use this period to start going through these um, you know, materials and be studying them. Because the, the school will have no mercy on you during these four weeks. So, so afterwards, you write an exam? After that, you take an exam in person. The exam, the course is online. Okay. But the exam is in person. Okay. You come to UDS campus here, 100, 100 MCQs on physics, sorry, on anatomy, physiology, biochemistry and pharmacology 
the full court is on the or is on I think three or four systems: cardiovascular, respiratory, and the nervous system. Okay. After the exam, those who pass, there's a pass mark. I think 50 percent. Those who pass are sent into an interview, and the interview is where the final um what that final hundred, final ninety, final eighty are selected and given the admission letters. Exam, are you guaranteeing you get the admission or is no, it after the interview? No, the, the exam is just to, is just to prove that you have understood the access course uh, exam and you can pass it. But that's not all that you are required to to be good at to become a medical student. They also want to listen to your interview, whether you are, you are good at communicating, your ability to think on your feet. And sometimes in the interview, they even ask you questions that were asked in the exams. Okay, so just prove that you need to it. prove that you are really, really strong. Because let's let's remember that the applications are enormous. I think in a year, the school may be receiving as many as five hundred to six hundred applications for them. The shortlist to to about three to four hundred. Exam will pass about hundred to one fifty, and then in the end, they pick about eighty, eighty-five to ninety. Wow! So how many are in your class? Eighty-five. 85. 85. And those who were shortlisted into the access course were about 450. Oh. I think it is because a lot of people with a first degree in these areas are having the tastes for medicine. So trying to divert into the field, increasing the demand in this area. So how is the four years like? Well, we know of the preclinical, clinical, three, three, two. How is the whole four years? All right, like? So. Um, traditionally, medical training is divided into two parts, preclinical and clinical. Preclinical is where you do the basic sciences, chemistry, physics, biology, anatomy, physiology. And then clinical is where you do clinical-oriented yes. medical training. So, but because we are doing four years, we spend only the first year of the four years doing preclinical. However, the, the one year is extended somehow. It's one year plus a few months. And it is where preclinical training is compressed. So you do all the systems in anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, histology, and the likes. And again, it is heavily, heavily compressed. Whilst a regular medical student will have breaks in between their blocks and models, we, we don't take breaks. It continues back to back. Whilst a regular medical student will do see six weeks or eight eight weeks for a particular system we may be doing it in three to four weeks you know so things are much more uh, doubled up for us so it is it's a highly high paced um, uh, thing we are doing so when you get class. to the clinical school does it become flexible so as like clinical year it becomes normal just like as the regular normal. ones are going to so how is the coping like? Are you guys able to cope with all of this? No, we are not coping. We are I, we are trying to cope. Because <laughs> I you see those in the fire class, I feel like I don't know, is it because they are more mature? They kind of adjust the system more than we the from SHS. Maybe we get stressed, like bent out and like you see. So now yours is even like double. It's of double. And there is a misconception so, that we are graduate students, so, so we know. No, yes. Oh, you push, you know this. Yes. Oh, you push, you they know this. But what they don't realize is that medical training isn't like any other thing. It is higher level. So what you think you know, you, will, you come in, you realize that they are stepping, stepping up on it, and they are taking you deeper and deeper. So it gets, it gets really stressful in these parts. But uh, we have no option but to pause and try and cope. So is there also training visits? Yes. We again, students could feel as much as a regular student would, because the exam, the exam level of difficulty is the same. No matter what you are going through, the expectations are the same for all medical students, and you are you are you are subjected to the same level of treatment everybody goes through. How much do you pay? Twenty-five thousand CDs a year. Twenty five k. That's yes. two hundred and fifty million. Million old CD. So in the four years, we are giving hundred thousand CDs to the school. Hundred thousand CDs yes, for the for the four years. Okay, so we pay. We are not your mates. So. <laughs> and, and 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 that aside, aside hostel, uh, your books, yes. your your daily upkeep. Twenty five k. 
you now understand why the school wants to make sure that you have the funds ready before they yeah. do that. So 25k, some pay 3k, some pay 16k. Is there a difference in the conditions, in the services you get, in everything? Do you think? It's supposed to be, but it isn't, unfortunately. But I think the I think the 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 lack of difference in the conditions is um, school school specific. I, w- I don't want to believe if you go to other universities, they may have special conditions of service for fee paying and graduate students. But you know, UDS is still a developing institution with its own infrastructure challenges. So we don't we don't benefit anything special or extraordinary. Uh, but I'm sure it's something authorities are looking into. We are hoping that as uh, funds and support come in, the school will be able to look at the game program and see how they can make things more better. more comfortable and better for yeah. us. So how some of you have PhDs in other courses, some are doing extremely well, and they still come to the medical school. What I call life goals. Okay, so the the person. Okay, let me let me let me tell you what probably is is likely to be a common denominator in this equation. Most of these people who have gone to get these first degrees initially may have applied for medicine and they didn't get. And you know these universities will offer you some program. So they just take the program and then they, they run with it. Along the line, realize, no, I still want to do medicine. And then go through life, go through some professions, go work here and there, and then later come to a game. You know, so I think that the life goal of those people who wanted to become doctors may, due to some reasons, they didn't get a chance earlier, now have found a route to, to come through. Um, and, and, I think it's, and I think it's something that's existing in Ghana here. People want to do medicine. The avenues are not there. They go through many, many, many routes and eventually still want to come and do it. And then they find they find game. So don't, don't fault them. The opportunity is now presenting itself to them and they have to grab it. A message to those wanting to come and do game in UDS. What's out there for them? Right. So if anybody is out there and has plans of rolling in this program, my first message is that put in your best. And second message, don't give up. This may be the most the most difficult thing you may ever have sought after. And don't forget, it's of high demand now. The demand for medicine itself, now GEMP, is increasingly increasing every now, every now and then. And if you have tried once or twice, I know people who are now coming to UDS because they've tried other schools. It's fine, keep trying. I know somebody who made five to six attempts until they finally made it in UDS here, GEMP. So if, and, and these people didn't give up. So you two don't give up. If you sit down, take your study materials, keep going through, you master it, you prepare for the interview, you ace it, you ask for the necessary help that's available to you and you make very good use of it. Why not? Someday you could make it and join us here. <laughs>